So it's nice to have an opportunity like this and definitely serve people in need. I mean, I think that uh, feeds your soul. Local volunteers helping fill a void in the landscaping today. In fact, a number of homes got a little extra sprucing up today using donated labor and materials to get the job done. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us a recent call for help brought out a big response. On a hot summer day like this, you don't need to look far for a landscaping crew hard at work. Only this one is a little different. This house in Austin Town is one of half a dozen homes for clients of the Mahoning County Board of Developmental Disabilities getting an outdoor facelift. We're having a shortage of direct you know, care professionals and staff to do normal day-to-day -day work. So we're helping our individuals to beautify their lawns. Besides workers with the board, some of those here doing the heavy lifting are members of the Mahoning Valley Landscape Contractors and Nurserymen's Association. We educate our uh, members for professionalism, help them keep licensing, and then serve our community. In this particular case, that service includes free labor and materials. These homes are getting either river rock or mulch. They're getting new bushes, new shrubs, lawns mowed, um, everything trimmed. As you can imagine, this is a really busy time of year for landscaping businesses, but they admit it's not that hard to get people to come out and volunteer for projects like this, saying work like this is good for the soul. When we have a service project like this, it uh, seems like they... They gravitate towards it and do what they need to do to get it done. In the end, a good day's work helping those in need. In Austin Town, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.